Hi guys, the latest puzzle is a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. V Funix, V Funix, made by Breeze, made in China, not for children under six years old, because it's got a choking, because it is a choking hazard. Okay, let's open it up and have a look. Let's have a look at it. You take it out of the box to reveal. Thanks for choosing us. Get this cube. Be the cube master. That's the order. That's what you've got to do. Well, there's quite a lot of stuff in it. A bag. A nice blue bag, drawstring. And some instructions. V Phoenix showing you what you can do. Stickers and various labels. And the actual cube takes up that portion of the box. Opens up to reveal -da, a two by two cube. I must admit this is the first time I've ever seen this. Blue, red, white, orange, bright yellow and green. So the traditional colours of the Rubik's Cube. Take off the wrapping. Ta-da! And there it is. Turns very smoothly. Very easy to turn. Um, quite a nice object. Something to have on the desk. A talking point, perhaps. You could say, have you ever seen one of those? A two by two. Rubik's Cube. You can even do that with it. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube with the use of three algorithms. An algorithm is just a set sequence of moves that you follow in order. And with three algorithms repeated, if necessary, you can solve a jumbled up 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. And that's what I'll be showing you in this video. I'll also include details in the description. OK, the first step in solving a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube is to solve one face. And usually it's the white face, just by convention. And there is an algorithm you can follow to get the white face, but I think it's Pretty simple. You just visually match it up and it might take you a while. But rather than algorithm, I think it's easier just to sort of work it out. There you are, there's the white face done. So that's step one, is to solve the white face. Okay, so once you've got the white face, step two is to align the colours in the top layer. You may have some colours already aligned, in which case you have to place them away opposite you, the side that's away from you. If you don't have any colours that are aligned, just start with any side facing you. Okay, then you follow this algorithm to align the first layer. Right invert, down, right, left invert, down invert, left, right invert, down and right. 
And as you can see, that has sorted out the top layer. You may need to do it again, exactly the same algorithm, and before too long you will have sorted out the first layer. Once you've got the white face sorted, you turn it so it's on the bottom, and we're now going to give this a yellow face. You might have no squares yellow, you might have one in any of the four positions, in which case you start with it at the bottom left. You might have two, in which case, if they're in a line, you keep them on the right hand side. If they're diagonal, you keep one of them in the bottom left. If there are no yellow squares like I've got, you can just start like with any orientation. The white side's there. And you follow this algorithm. Right. Up. Right inverted. Up. Right. Up to. Right inverted. OK, so we've still got the white face. And now we've got one yellow square. Let's keep that at the bottom left and repeat the algorithm. Right. Up. Right inverted, up, right, up twice, right inverted. And hey presto, we've now got a yellow face. As it happens, we've also got a red face there. It doesn't always happen like that. And we've still got the white face. Okay, so you should have your yellow side all complete, the white side all complete, and one layer complete. So now we've just got to do the second layer. So bring the second layer up to the top rather than like that. You want it like that. And if there is anything matching, there already is with the blue, in my case, keep that away from you. We've got to do this quite long algorithm and that will solve the cube. So here we go. OK, so it's right invert, front, normal, not inverted. So that's clockwise. Right inverted, back inverted twice. Inverted means, in this case, counterclockwise, twice. Right. Front inverted, right, back inverted twice, right twice, back inverted twice. OK, and that's solved the bottom layer, the second layer. So if it now it's pretty obvious that you just rotate it to solve the cube. If you, you might need to do that algorithm once more to sort, to sort out the layer. Hope you enjoyed it and see you later.